Welcome back to Sneers. I'm Rob and Vitor Bay, back here in our Let's Play facility on Mars. As you can see, I've lit, done a little bit more than last time. I, uh, well, I finished off a little bit more than last time. I shined up the frontier as we left off. I finished the migrate on the special one here for the rocket and the tools. And in here, I made the lights, the ceiling. I have to tidy a little bit of the rock, but apart from that, everything in here is actually fully functional, which is great. Uh, and I have done some testing, as you can see. So, I'm currently prepping for what we're going to do today downstairs, which is going to be so cool. Oh, I can't wait. Um, before we go down, we need to finish off up here. So, uh, how are we going to do it? So, I'm not sure if we're going to use the consoles. They will, might, they might, they might be up here. Who knows? I don't even know where I want them. I could have them up there, why not? Uh, so, what, what are we doing? Well, we are doing a fully automated feeding system for these uh, for these six, so for the two atmospheric printers, the two electronic printers, the two orthodates, and these two will for now remain neutral. They have already routed down, as you know, as we did last time. They are routed down and they are also in the system, but we will not be Route them up. I'm not sure how to do it yet, and the reason for that is due to the lack of pins on my IC housing, because we need to read the region, the region amount, hence so basically the amount of materials inside each machine, and we cannot do that by batch. We need to do that by the pins, and we will have six pins on the IC chip, hence why we can only do six devices. I could of course remove. Uh, two of them, but then I'm like, nah, <laughs> nah, no, I don't want to. I want to have all of them. So I think I'm going to have a lever over here saying, hey, feed this one a complete set of all the ores or something like that. And then it'll just ship in all the ores. I think that's what I'm going to do. But for now, we don't focus on those two. <clears throat> so what, are we, what, what should we do? Well, let's remove a wall. Uh, let's remove this one. Mm, should we have it there? We're gonna have it here on the floor. Uh, yeah, let's have it on the floor actually. But we can keep it off because we need to go down here. We need to move some of this because we need to go down. Um, and it's just easy to go down this way. Uh, yeah, leave that there. So we move that. We don't need that right now. We need don't need you at the moment. We don't need that. Oh, I should probably tie it up. So this take the code that we're going to use now has already been made i made myself uh, and i will show it uh, this time uh yeah so mm, 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 i don't have enough cables i still haven't finished this sister system so it's not really that nice but it is at least working oh i have it up there ah there we go lovely so Let's put the cable in here. Let's take the cable cutter. And let's wire him up. So at least he has a connection. Uh, like so. Like so. And like so. And then we just need to go down here. I'm not going to go through the code yet. I need to we will finish the routing first. Uh, du, 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 du. Can we not get out here? There we are. In case you're wondering how I can see where I'm connecting to, is the, the two pluses that's green and uh, yellow. They determine where I'm going to and where I'm coming from. So we have it there. Good. Lovely. And then we have a um, valve there, or junction there, I mean. <clears throat> now, that is what we're going to be down here for the chip. And then we can take our two chips. We have a memory there, what's the other one? We need two memory. Uh, that one. We need two memories down here. We need one here, and one here. Now, these will be the only connection between the upper system and the lower system. So this network out here right now, it is connected here as well, right there. 
is we have to reroute a little bit so we don't have to see all of these devices down here on the same network which is very annoying so let's just reroute this a little bit here now that we are here so we first we're gonna go up here and like so there we are let's remove this device because we don't need him anymore uh, at least not here. We need him up here. And we can set him to what? What was it? Uh, yeah, let's do 2, 3,000. It's not a lot. We don't need a lot on that one. And then do some cabling to this one. Let's do that one. There we are. Then we can move this. And some cable here tidy up as you know that's a very good thing to do and now we need to place a transformer on this one let's just turn him on again lovely we need a transformer on this one because um, right now we are using four kilo we can use quite a lot we're using four at the moment four kilowatt we are going to put a medium transformer here to supply down here. At least then we know we have enough. Uh, we can pop them out there. Okay, so let's do a medium here. Uh, yeah, that could, probably, that could probably work. Did I just toss everything? Oh, you silly bugger. So let's just do a a little nice way to do this. I hope this won't blow anything. And let's put this one to 10,000. I hope they're okay. We'll we'll see soon enough if 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 I just broke something. But who knows? It's very big, but um, yeah, it's definitely enough for for this setup. And I can remove this now. Oh, will you please stop? Uh huh. There we are. Good. Doesn't look like we have issues. We can of course check over that, but it looks like it's fine for now. Otherwise we can go down and reset the chips. Anyway. <clears throat> we need to place this one. We have of course placed. And uh, for just for our sake. No, that should be fine now. We should be fine. Because the, the problem had right, let's remove these ones for now. Yeah, let's move these ones and let's see here we need to put in our devices and we don't name them this time we don't we actually just put them in and i will show you why so authorize one two we want the uh, electronic printer yeah so that is actually not great it's this one we have to go first i'll show you why this is it makes no sense in terms of uh, way but hydraulic pipe bender one uh, two we want first then we want electronic ooh, two second the third will be hydro one hydro one then we're gonna have the electronic printer one and then authorate one and half late two good and that should be enough for this boy then down here, we have these ones. So these ones, we will name um, item number and request route. Lovely. Okay, so now that we've done this, let's turn on and see if any errors happens. Nope, nothing happens. And why is that? Well, let's go down and have a look to see what's going on down here. 
So it's saying right now we need item number one and we need to route number one. That is because we are missing iron in this this route. So if we if it let me show you. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take some iron here. This is of course the manual way to do it. But if I pop him up here, if we just remove this one, open up there, pop him in there, then he should say number two to the same route. I hope so. Yes, look at that. So now we're missing item number two for route one. So what, what are we having up there? Well, let me show you the code. This is the code I made. So we have a few registers. We have the next or, we have the next device, we have the next device type, we have the next device name. Uh, and I'm not... I think actually the device name we can remove. I think so. Yeah, anyway. So, uh, which or, and then memory. So the memory is of course the two memory chips. They are the only two we can do with bats. Then we have the next OR and next device. We set to, to one each because they'll be using the, we're starting with the first OR and the first device. And then we have a check. So we do a lot of yields to make it slow. Uh, I have maybe overdone it with the yields. Uh, it didn't work correctly in the beginning, so we'll see. <clears throat> so what are we doing? Well, first we do a YAL jump to the OR type. So we go down to OR type, which is this one. So here if you have every single OR, by name, not by hash number, but by name, because the dev the devices we cannot read the hash name, the hash number, but we need to the, the hash name. If you understand, so we checking if the next or is equal to one. If it's not equal to one, we will continue down to whichever next is in the line. If it is equal to one, then we put which or to iron, and we do. Just continue this all the way down. Then we're going to get to the, to the bottom. Here you can see we jump a little bit more. We jump to this one. But if we get to 17, we will set the next auto zero and the next device. So we go to the next machine. This should actually be one, I think so. Uh, no, because we had it here. I think it's... Yeah, it should be okay. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see when we get it running. And then we go from, from 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 this section to check device, and check device. Here we move from the D's, so we have the same device type. Let me just pause the game because I keep getting robots and all this stuff. So we go to the device, next device. Now the next device, we then check again which device we are on to. So first we are on number one. So we're going through every single or on device number one. And then from device number one to device number two, and so on and so on. So here you can actually pick whichever you want to. However, the D0 is number one, hence also route number one. That is very important. And I can see we might, we might actually get a problem here because that's only five routes. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Do you want the two this oh I'm missing one? Oh that's why. Okay, so we need uh da, 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 da. just put that one in here. Let's put this one in here. Put this one to two and put that one. D uh, default. That's better. Should be six. So, what then? So this number is also what what our route will be saying. So uh, it will tell us which direction we're going with each device. Now, how are we then determining if we sh if we need something? Well, down uh, up here again in the check. We, we then, when we get the device type, we have said that, then we check with all, so we load regent in the device type, we load with all, so iron, steel, copper, whatever, 
the next one in the line, we'll check, we'll call it, put it into R5. We'll put it into the LEDs. We don't need them, but they're nice to have. And we then check if they are up, uh, if they're less than 50. We don't care if it's 49 or if it's 2. Doesn't matter. If it's less than 50, we give we bring it. And then we do a bring all. So we go to a, a new um, function called bring all, which is here. If you don't need this, if it's above 50, like I just did, uh, then we just go back to the next one. So we take the next all on the line and start all over until we get through all six devices, which is going to take a good a fair bit of time. Hence why I say maybe these yields need to be adjusted. Now, what we then do is in the bring all, we do another pause just to make it slow because if it goes too quickly, it seems to be going into an error sometimes. Then what we do is we set the bats so we set the actual item bats. So we set the next door, which is, the, which is what we have here. And we set the route, which is what we have here. And when those two are set, then we wait. And we keep waiting until the device input count is uh, more, than, uh, more than one, uh, equal to one. And because of this, we then know we have received one ingot and um, what we're going to do down here is we're going to send to each of these we're going to use these electronic uh, what are they yeah these power shoots to set to each route so we're going to have another chip down here reading these two and then we're going to determining determine from this which one of these over here we need to send to the device here Sounds simple enough, right? <laughs> we, we, we will see. This part down here, I have not yet programmed. So that's going to be quite fun. Why are you not standing up? This I have not programmed and uh, we'll see how it goes. So first of all, let's clean up this one. Better rinse. And let's see this one over here. Now we need to go in here. We need to mm -hmm. put that over here. And put that off. We don't need that right now. We don't need you right now. We don't need you. And we need definitely need you. We're gonna need nine. I calculate we need nine uh, sh um, power shoots. Um, and and then you ask why nine? Because you only have eight routes. Well, we have a ninth route, which is the route for steel, which is over there. Right now, that steel container is not getting any steel whatsoever. And as you can see on it, we are running low. We need somehow to tell this device to send steel over there when we need to. So we, we have a little bit over there, like 10 or whatever. <clears throat> Lovely. So each shoot, each line has, I have named everyone should 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 fit <laughs> should match so route one is the hydraulic binder number two route three and so on and so on now we can take our pipes bender our pipe these ones and how do we place them so they make it sense let's see here we need oh maybe it's easier if we place this one first so we have one there so we place this one there yeah and there and yeah that seems about right right there may another one and another one i hope th i hope they can be right next to each other uh, i have more i am split the right where is it? Valve. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Digital valve. No. Flip flop right. Flip flop left. We want them to be identical. Like so. Uh, can I fit there? Oh, no more. No, no bother. We will then have another shoot there. Can I place into a flip flop? What? 
Ah, uh, this one's a pallet. Ah. There we are. And then we do a powered like so. This will look so cool. So we need to adjust how's it? This pipe will stay th no, this one will stay there. This one will flip over one so it fits here. And then we can put another pipe here. Another one. And this one, yeah. And then we have routes five there. Uh -huh. Lovely. Oh, it's so good. And that's number seven. Number six is there. I know that the the the, um, the numbers and the these doesn't really matter. So that's something I had to work with. Uh, I wish actually that we could have. Now we're gonna move that one. I w I want them to be coming adjacent so they are in the same order. So this one will be moved to here. And this one we move to here. It doesn't really matter. And then we could technically avoid the last one. Uh, uh, we don't. Do we need the last one? Nah. <laughs> yeah. No. Let's let's leave that one off now. And then we can decide that later. <clears throat> let's just. I'll just rearrange this a little bit. So it looks correct. There we have it. We just need to move the signs, of course, because now they don't fit and we want them to fit. But uh, that can be done later. What we do now need to do is put some shoots up. Not those shoots. Did I just use all my shoots? Ah, uh, no, no, I didn't. So we can we can put them in such a manner it actually looks quite nice here, and we can walk underneath everything. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. And this one, so but I clearly don't have enough because we need also to go across to the to the devices to the um, vending machines and they will need quite substantial distance is that what I said? nah probably not but you know what I mean it's gonna be a cool oh, nice <laughs> you idiot Yeah, I know. It should have been this way. There we are. Da, 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 da. Uh, the, the what? Two. Did I need to change another one? Oh. Oh yeah, that's the one that was too close. Yes, 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 yes. I remember, I remember. Yeah, and... We just have enough shoot for it. Awesome. I personally think that actually looks quite nice. 
and now we just need to put some heat power in here. I wish I remember where the power is. I must have some around here. There, definitely. Yeah. Oh, that's powered. And cable, let me just rip up the floor yet again. Oh, my nicely painted floor here. Yeah, there we have it. Good, so we need the cable and we need to pop these down there. There we are, and we should have some more cable somewhere. Um, surely I have more cables. I had a whole stack. Ah, it's here. Yes. That's better. I was like, where, where is my cable? Nobody panic. I have it all. I even have some more shoot. Well, one. Caution. So I can confirm that, that um, the, the, the air tank usage has definitely increased. Not a lot, which is fine. It did feel like it was a lot of time, long time could go without um, refilling the tank. But you can, you can, um, you need to refill this often now. Oftener, more, yeah, more regularly. And I guess that's okay. Let me just get all the way over here. There we have them. And turn on. Right. Lovely. Now to name them. We are going to name them obviously according to the route. <clears throat> so this is route. Oh, we can't. Yeah. Uh, shoot. Uh, let's see if we say splitter. Splitter route. Splitter one. Yeah, let's say that. And this is for route two. So, ah, so the splitter two. Good, lovely. Now we need to mount this one. We can just mount him here and. Ah, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. It's gonna be covered anyway. And we need to keep color. Okay, so let's get to some coding here, shall we? We now have the option of... Uh, no, let's just close this one first, because... Or not? No, 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 let's... let's while we start coding, let's put a bet over for shoot. What is that? Shoot. They need what? Shoot, 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 shoot. They need iron. Let's take 50 iron. No, 100 iron, I think. 100 iron there. Mm -hmm. Come on. And iron there. And let's just go up and start cooking some more shoot because we don't have enough of those. Shoot. 
basic, yeah. So now that we have everything lined up, connected up, and uh, we are actually ready for the testing and the programming of this uh, IC housing here. <clears throat> so right now we have the two remote chips, which are the only connection between upstairs and downstairs. So these two will be the request of items. Um, because we now have the transfer mode that we can actually we have separate out the system so we don't have to see everything here up there, which is nice. Uh, this is one of the good things about the memory. You can transfer values between by doing this way. It's a good, nice way to do it. Now, we need to control these. So, if we take out our tablet, have a look here. Let's change that to something we can actually use. So, we have mode and we have setting. So, right, so that's mode. By clicking on it, we change the mode. So, straight on is zero and turn is... Uh, it's one. Lovely. And I think because it's a flip-flop, I think the turn back. Let's just test this out here. Let's move that. So right now we're going up. Let's just dump these in here. Yeah. So every time we have gone through, they go back to base position. Good to know. That could maybe give us a, a headache. Also, we have this thing here, so the ratio. Mm, one to one. What if I... Is that... How is that? Mm, if I do like this, I still flip back. What if I go to the maximum? Oh. What does that do? So go up. Hmm. Nothing. Well, I think we need this to be 0 to 1 ratio. I assume that's what we would need to have here. We're going to, we're going to try 0 to 1. So let's just pop him in there. And pop him in there again. Also, I noticed there was one here that was incorrect. That was faked the other way. Fix that. Off camera, sorry. <clears throat> uh, okay, so setting, I guess, is what we're looking at. So let's just put that up to... Oh. So now setting is two. Right, so so the setting is this one. It's the ratio. Good to know. We will like to have that two set to zero straight away. So, let's take out some, some tablets. Let's take out the IC chip. So let's go in here. Edit. Now what do we need? Bring or I wish that could be the one we need, but that's just the one upstairs. Bring me or call for. I really need to make a new name for them, but <laughs> I'll call that Ingrid because it's not always actually Ingrid. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, now, we need. What do we need? We need the shoot, we need the vending machine, and we need the memory. So let's say define. Uh, shoot. I need to find uh, vending. I need to find what is that? Memory. Good. So let's see here. We need vending. Vending machine. We need that one. Pop that in here. Like so. And then we need the memory. Loading memory. We need that one. Mm -hmm. Memory. And we need... What do we need? Shoot. Uh, what shoot is it? Because they're not the same, so that's the 1630... No, 1637. Okay. Oh, not, not in here yet. We need to go back first. So, shoot. Uh, do, 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 do. Flip. Right. Yeah. Ah, lucky because I'm pretty sure they're the same. Yeah, they're not. Good. I thought so. So put that in there. Lovely. Okay. So we... We need to look at these two. 
So let's do a a wait. Wait. Um. Oh wait, we need we need some more, don't we? We need to know which or which route. And we want to have those in some registers, I think. Let's move that. So alias. Uh, which, 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 or a zero alias which route are one? Mm, anything else? Uh, that is the or. Wow, let's just put that correct. Is that correct? You know what? It's not. What all? What all? Which route? So, uh, annoying thing here is those machines, they want the route that all in, uh, at least that's how I could make it work, by name. These ones want it by hash. Which means that we need to convert this number into the hash of the particular all. So we need to reuse uh, so we need that's the that's this pause here. So that's the all number. Uh, no, no, that's the, that, that's the all, and then we need to have n one for the all number. So alias, what do we call? I think we call next all upstairs. So let's call next all here as well. Or uh, two. Lovely. So now we know that we know, and we know we need to set the 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 is that the, the, the <laughs> we need to we know we need to set the shoot to zero in setting i think i think we need to set to zero so let's do this in the beginning because we only need that one time so set the setting to zero do we need to more here we'll find out now what do we need first well we need to load batch name because we are now going to bat mode. So we and we uh, need to get uh, the all number. So which or next or yeah, next or next or I mean that from the shoot. No, nope, we need it from the memory. And hash hash. And that's what item number I think it's called it for some reason. Because why not? Setting. Um and that will be average, so zero. Average, I think zero. <laughs> That's a, it's either average or some. So it's either zero or one here. Or some. You can, you can also write it. <clears throat> uh, great. So, unless we have a number here, we don't want to continue down. If this is empty, we just stay here. So let's just do a BEQ set. If it's equal to zero, then we do something. So if next all is equal to zero, then we go to wait. So a nice little loop. Well, this capital. If it if a uh, nice little loop here, that's just going around in a circle right now. Uh, if if the item was in zero. Now, let's do. Now we will be checking. So if if this one is not zero, then we need to check. We need to check what it is. So let's do a check. Uh, and let's see. Uh, we when we get to here, we want to set the shoot mode to zero, so we know they are in all in the standard position. So shoot mode to zero. Now, what do we need now? We need to know which route we're taking, so we need to take that and which route. And uh, what what did I call that one? Six. Quest route. Note to self: make names more logical. Good and shorter, because if we get too long here, it actually disappears. Really annoying, but it, it, that's what we're doing. Okay. Now, next step. Well, we know we have six routes. At the moment, we only have six routes. So we need to check. So if it's six, 
Eller if it's if, if route 1, then this will be 1. If it's route 6, this will be 6. So we could do something here, like what we've done before. Uh, what did we do before? Did we not do... what was it? B-R-N-E, I think it was... Let's just pause that. B-R-N-E, relatively... okay. So if it's not this, then the brats. Okay, yeah, good. So if 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 we are not equal to if A and B is not equal, then we will go somewhere. Uh, lovely, we can do that. Um, so B I N E, and we need one, and we need to route, and you need to skip a few numbers. Then we'll have something here. And we can just do D6. Two, three, four, four, five, six. Good. Um, yeah, I guess, and I guess if, it's not, if, if none of these is correct, it'll just go back to check or wait for the matter. Yeah, it should go back to wait. So let's just jump back to wait. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we need? We need, so we know if 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 we end route one, then we need to set the the shoot to one. So S B N shoot has da, 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 something, and what well, that was mode, wasn't it? Mode, yes, good. And we can copy this now, as we are here. Oh, go back. Take that. Let's go back in here. Uh, let's copy that in here. So we need no space there. Mode. One. And then we can copy this to each of these. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. When we start testing this, we will empty all of the machines of this. Okay, so at least we know we can jump two. So if if if, if this one is not correct, if this value, if if one and which or is not the same, it will jump to whatever it says here. So if it says one here, it'll just jump here. If we write two here, it'll jump down here. And then we'll do the same thing here and say so on and so on. But we need something else. We need to go somewhere. Um, we need to call the or, right? Yeah, because if we're doing if we're doing uh, route one, we don't need to touch these, and we cannot. We need it needs to happen here. So we need to J call ingot. No, let's let's stay with all because everything else is all apparently. <laughs> let's just call all, and of course this is a failure right now because we haven't made this this uh, setup. Okay, so now I think so we we see okay we have route one, okay we set the shoot to one, and we jump down to call door. Then that finish. The all gets to the location and route one is completely done. Then we'll move on to a new route and then this one won't be needed. So we don't need this. This will go to zero because that's what we're doing here. Yeah. So we could just jump one, two, to three. It will jump three. So three there, three there, three there. Oh, let's just make it look nice. Uh, like this. Okay. So now we need to make a call or. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we do that? So <clears throat> let's call or. Um, but we need to know when it gets down here, we need to know which or we actually call him because we cannot use this item number for anything. Uh, and that'll happen every time. So we basically just need to jump down into a list of all the ores. Oh my god, we have to make that list again. So what is that that's Yal Um 
or type. We could call it. Yeah. Uh, and I know we're, we're jumping. So we, we when we get down to here, we need to know which all we, we need to open up for. Because here the route is already in position. So we need to send it off. Uh, yeah. So let's go down. Let's a little bit further down. So call or no. No. Or type. And when this one is done, we need to do J. Ah, the JR is the YAL, as you see here, we jump to a line and save the next line in in, in R, in RA or whatever. So here we jump to RA, so the last saved of these one will be where we're jumping to. So when we get to color, we know, okay, we need to go down and get a type. And then we jump down to this one. <coughs> so, so we need to get with R. So we need to get this one. No. What all? Why do why do I call that what all which all? Hmm. Because I couldn't spell. That's why. Let's just change this one to what to which all. So it it looks the same. Or type. Wow. Oh yeah. So first of all, we want the all move or zero we don't we want the all to be zero before we put anything in just to avoid any problems and then we're going to do b and e again because this one is such a lovely one to do it's just it's so easy to understand what's happening uh and then we're just going to do this every single time and that is how many times is that uh let's just see yeah, we're going to do a quick backup here uh Let's call this one route handler. Why not? Or ingot route handler. Yes. That is a good name. That could actually work. And let's just save it there. I want to see how many in here. I should have it in here somewhere. So we have them all here. 17. We need to do it 17 times. Oh. But here we have the problem. So this is the name. We need the ingot. The, 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 um, the hash variable, the actual, the, the actual number. But other than that, it's the same we're doing. Lovely. Okay. Well, I, I, I better get to it. So I will do these off camera because, oh boy, it's gonna take a while. So, just a second. Stir light. There we have them. So, as you can see, <laughs> lots of ores but they, it's quite simple we first as we did before no like we did we start off with we put the zero into which all then we're checking which number is on the list so if if, if we have one then we take this one otherwise we jump down to this one and check here if we have two then we take this one otherwise we go down and so on and so on and so on and so on all the way down Remember when you do moving of data, of, of, of numeral, you cannot have the hash like you have here. It won't, it won't work. Now, the next, now that we, ha now that we have a, a, the actual uh, all saved, so we have, have to actually have the width all we need. So in this case, we have one uh, uh, iron. Then we could do we could send off to the winning machines uh which all we want so we're going to do sp and i'm pretty sure the s the, the winning machines don't mind you send after all three of them as long as at, you don't have iron in all three so we're gonna do vending and we're going to what is that request is that request has request has i think so i think it's request has must be request has. And I don't think we need to activate anything. Request has. Nope, that's not what we want. We want which all. Uh, 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 and then here we're gonna do a little bit of weight. Yield. And then we're gonna set that to zero. Just for good measures. 
now the ore should be on the way. Good. But we need to be sure that we don't continue. So we're gonna... Yeah. We will take this one again. No, we're gonna set that one. So we're gonna set the, the, the item number to zero because now we know that item number is on the way. So set B in memory memory hash burp, 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 burp. Oh. and here we want item number setting set it to zero zero and then we jump to wait Is that is that it? Yeah, because then we jump to wait. We go up here, and then the all will be on the way, <clears throat> and we are waiting here. So as soon as the upstairs registrates a import increase, it will then go to the next one, and then we'll get a new number here, and it'll go down and continue. Mm. That should work. I wonder if it would be a good idea to set the request hash to zero to begin with. Just in case you... Yeah, let's, let's just do it. What about the, I, the, the next or? Let's... No, those shouldn't be necessary. Right. <clears throat> okay. So. Hydration critical. Let me get some water and then we can do a test. Okay, so now that we have <clears throat> tried uh, to set up the code, let's see if we can actually make it work. Oh, let's just put that one there. There we are. Why opposite? Anyway, um, so we are currently waiting for one, which is iron, and going to route one, which will be. Uh, we're currently waiting for route one, which will be this particular way. So here. Uh huh. That that turned out correctly. Good. And they are all set to zero one now. Yes, they are. Good. Let's see if we have some iron. Oh, we have. That's a very good start. That's a very good start. Now, I popped it in here and it's still going to turn. I went back. Let's see if this one changes to two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it went to zero straight away. Awesome. And it comes out. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is so cool. So that was a bit loud. This is so cool. So next one will be nickel. Oh, I don't know. Three. What is that? What is three? Gold. Right. Oh, I think we have this in the back. Yes. And it came out. Oh. And nothing comes out of here. If it comes out here, there's something wrong. So that's why I'm, I'm a bit concerned. Right. You know what this means? This means a whole lot of digging for me. And then what? 30. Eh, whatever. Um, that's actually fine. Because the system can still see. Well, it's still not 50, so we need one more. Um, we are going to dig a lot. So we just want to have a shoot come out here now. Uh, do, and I think I made some cooking up here. Of the shoot. Yeah, there we have them. Lovely. And let's just grab these. That uh, doesn't seem to be a lot. Iron. Why? Why there? And not inside the machine. As you can see, I still have the problem with the storm. So let's just cook some more of these. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Um, while they're cooking, I will go down and dig. 
a whole lot of digging. Um, unless we actually want to test. Ooh, wait, wait, before before we do any of that. Did, did I s yeah, let's put this one in and see what happens here. We, we, I want to see what happens when we move to the next one in the line. So five. Just so we know that it goes to this one. Because right now we're just saying vending machine. Ah, oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, the small fiction life, you know, the small fiction life. Like this is completely overkill, of, of course, but it's just very nice to do. 13, I mean, what is this? Would it not then continue or what? Hmm. I might go around again. Oh. Steel. So that works. Great. I can uh, I can turn it take him out. And then we'll empty all of them out there. And now to dig. So we can dig a lot. So we move all this beautiful painted wall floor here. Wall floor. You know what I mean. Don't deny it. Uh, and the drilling will be done off camera. Damn, that's a long way. Anyway, let's get to it. And the last shoot. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. Well, I hope so. I <laughs> Surely hope so this is gonna be as cool as I expect it to be. This however is just not acceptable anymore. The colors is all over the place. Let's just close the floor here. Right. Okay, so now that we know mm, let's just weld that up. Before we do anything, I'm gonna empty all the machines up here. And then we will see what happens. So, you empty. 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 I'm gonna hate this. But it's gonna be how it is. That's gonna be junk everywhere. Yeah. Well, that's a problem for me, not for you guys. You don't need to see that. And we wanna reset that. There we are. So with everything set up and all the floor back in place and everything in here is clear and ready to go, uh, we should just try. So right now we're asking for item one, iron, and route number one. So let's pop it in and see what goes. So now we should be able to see them going every single location. This is gonna take a while, of course, because it just takes a long time in the beginning, but it should be coming in. So the first one is already in, and they will then start to pop in as, you know, step by step. So there we go. And this one will then come in eventually. Why is that one off? Uh, there we are. And uh, yeah. So the reason why we're getting a 34 is because if there's a stack in the vending machine saying 34, it might take that one instead of the 50. It's 50 50. Like it's a, it just takes whatever the first one in the, in the line. And as I've made it so it takes one of the type it needs and then go on to the next one it will then loop back around next time see okay uh, do we have one do we still have nothing enough inside the, the system if we do f great if we don't okay we'll, we'll we'll go back so that is what it's doing um it might actually go to 100 i can't remember what i did that did i do for a hundred uh if a hundred Okay, it's 50. It, should, it shouldn't do it again if it's 50. So if, if these ones are just 50, it should stay put. So 
Yeah, it's going it's going fairly easy. And let's see down here. Seventeenth the last one he needs to go to. So let's see where we're at now. Ten. Okay, so we have seven more to go. And sixteen. Now the next one, seventeen. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, it takes a long time when you're standing here waiting for it. Seventeen, last one. And then this one should change to two in a second. Mm -hmm. There we are. One. Okay, let's go up and see if we get iron in the first one here. So this is route number two. And let's see. Yes, we have iron. And we have a fully, fully set here. People, people, people. It is working. We have a fully system. Well, at least for now. We don't know if, <laughs> if it works to get down here. We'll <laughs> we will see that. But it's, that will, we'll see that next time. Um, I won't. I won't be standing here looking at every single one being filled up because that's gonna take forever. <sighs> Fantastic. So, I am wondering how it's gonna behave when, when let's say we run out of one of the special ones and we need for this one. If it's then just gonna be standing there waiting, we will find out. But for now, it is going through every single one. This one is already producing astroloy, and that's because it's some testing I've done. So it's. It is ongoing, um, but yeah, it's definitely it's, it's definitely working. We just need to be sure it's working correctly and and fast enough, because this one is now just popping through. All right, is is just popping through. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. The next thing I'll be doing, as you can see, I've started putting up some light in here while I've been waiting for the the thing is I'll pop in the light and I'll pop in a switch right here so I can turn the light on and off so I need to I don't need to have it on all the time and then I will just I don't want I'm not going to close it I'm just going to make it nice and that that's it uh, this is just a room for for us to handle let's see what we are now mm -mm -mm. 11 oh dear it's taking forever but it looks definitely looks like it's it's working which is so cool, so cool. Uh, when it gets to line three, we will say that's it for today. And now we are coming up to number 17, which is, come on, come on, come on, come on, there, great. Then this one should change to number three, when the line is filled. Yes, line three, okay. And then we should, oop. Should see some iron here. Yes, that is a success story, I would say. Great success, fantastic. Well, I will leave it filling up, and then we'll see if I run some errors uh, in the next one. On and also, I need to tidy up a little bit, and I think I need to modify this a little bit because I'm not super happy how it looks like. Uh, but that's gonna be on the next time. So, until then. Take care, buddy. Bye for now.